with the Digital Digest, and today I'm unboxing the Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Gen 6. I'll include a link in the description for those of you interested in purchasing one, and in full disclosure, this was furnished to me by the manufacturer for review purposes. With that said, what makes this unique is that this is the first ThinkPad to be driven by a Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite processor, at least that I am going to use and of course review. Uh, to my knowledge, you can get up to 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, a one terabyte uh, NVMe SSD. It has a full HD 14-inch uh, IPS display, so no frills here, but this is all about getting work done, having all of uh, the benefits of the new Snapdragon X Elite processor, which means fantastic battery life with this 58 watt-hour battery. In addition to that, uh, it should run, of course, quiet and cool and really be a road warrior. So, gonna go ahead, before I even pull that out, just put it aside. I believe it has a 65 watt charger. Let's take a quick look at that. Probably the least impressive part of this unboxing. But this is a direction again for uh, Copilot PCs, just reminding everyone that we're getting machines that don't look like everything else. And it is a 65 watt adapter. So let me go ahead and put that away. I've got plenty of 65 watt adapters in the studio. And to my knowledge, per uh, Lenovo's marketing, this should be able to, to uh, recharge up to 80% in an hour. They're not calling it a full 100%. Well, because it's not. But again, this is all about giving consumers and business users more options with uh, that, what I think is going to be, and already is, a very popular uh, processor that changes the way that we can use and enjoy Windows-based machines. So a little under three pounds, uh, the, again, ThinkPad design language prominent as it always is, uh, a matte finish here, Lenovo branding, ThinkPad branding, doesn't look like that eye lights up, but we'll find out. Our webcam module right there. When it comes to I.O., that's one of the areas that this machine shines. We've got two USB 4 ports, HDMI 2.1, a headphone, microphone combo jack, come around to the front of the machine, nothing there at all. Right side of the machine, you've got two type A ports and your Kensington lock. So really, it's got just about everything, nothing on the back, the bottom of the machine, just some ventilation, uh, cooling right there, and that's it. Let's open this thing up and see what we've got. So of course, the signature ThinkPad uh, keyboard as expected, best in the business. Really, this isn't even a matter of personal opinion. I'm sure there are people that don't care for it, but the majority of users love it. That's why this just never goes away. And well, that's also the reason Lenovo purchased this entire division from IBM, uh, because they knew this was, well, the best of the best. Can't knock it. And don't forget, as I've already mentioned, the military spec uh, durability that comes with having a ThinkPad, something that should never be overlooked uh, so Snapdragon X Elite branding there, of course, more ThinkPad branding. Our power button right here, track point uh, pointer for those of you that need it, uh, left and right click. I mean, it really gives you everything you expect. Let's power it on, see if we have any juice. It looks like we do. Speaker grills right here on the side. I'm actually going to make this shot a little bit wider so I can get this in frame a little bit better. And the webcam, I'm not expecting uh, a 1440p. Uh, webcam, but it does have Windows Hello uh, compatibility. That means facial recognition. It is an IR camera system. We also have a privacy switch uh, right there at the top. Hopefully that is visible. Uh, matte finish on the screen like that. But I think, you know, what immediately comes to my mind as I'm booting this up is that this really needs to outperform and um, put a shadow to a product like this guy, uh, the Slim 7X, and I don't know if it can do that. Um, granted, I'm not comparing a consumer, regular, traditional laptop uh, that you'd find at Best Buy to something, you know, that is a ThinkPad for general reasons, because the consumer that's going to pick up the ThinkPad probably isn't going to look at this. But when we're having the conversation about the X Elite processors, uh, best overall performance, best overall value, I can't neglect to talk about that 7X that's right on the right side edge of the frame because it's got a great display, it's got a great processor, the same one you'll find in here, great battery life, and it's $1,199. Now, this is going to be more expensive, no question about it. I think the starting price is well over $1,500 US, 
Um, and that'll depend on configurations. As I mentioned, you can go up to 32 gigs of RAM. Um, I believe this model has 16, again, DDR5, uh, and a one terabyte NVMe uh, SSD. The IPS display uh, maybe will get us similar battery life to what you'll get with the OLED display in the Slim 7X. Uh, but remember, uh, this has a 58 watt hour battery. The one in the, the Slim 7 is well beyond that. It's nearly 80 watt hours. So uh, just food for thought. Now this display is 14 inches and again, really similar to the display size on the Slim 7X. So it's really a matter of do you want this chassis? Do you want the real ThinkPad keyboard as opposed to the iteration that Lenovo has dropped into their consumer laptops, which is still excellent, but it isn't a literal ThinkPad experience. So if you're one of those people that knows that they must have a ThinkPad, you now have what appears to be a really nice option uh, in the realm of the Snapdragon X Elite chipset, which means, as I already mentioned, it should equate to great battery life, this thing staying cool and quiet. And considering this is not gonna be something you'll use for video editing, uh, 4K video editing at least, um, this should deliver that all day battery life and again, durability that road warriors are looking for that aren't going to do heavy lifting, that aren't going to you know game, video edit, render, any of those things. Um, if you're coding, if you're uh, you know, essentially doing anything that's going to be content consumption related, email, uh, anything office suite related, this is going, or at least should be, a great option. Now, will it be a great option based on its pricing? I can't really speak to that considering I keep bringing up this, but not everybody's gonna want a consumer laptop, especially if your company is rolling these out, well, then that's moot altogether. Uh, but it seems like a nice machine. It's a little bit lighter than the Slim 7X, although it seems a little bit more robust in terms of build quality. Uh, and that's just because it's a ThinkPad. Uh, I wish this IPS was, you know, an OLED, but not everything needs to be. If this ends up delivering better battery life with a smaller battery than what the Slim 7X has, that's going to be an impressive thing that will definitely attract buyers. And look, there are still plenty of you out there that prefer an IPS display over an OLED for a variety of reasons. I personally am not one of them, despite my Surface Pro 11 coverage, but still, these are the things we're going to have to uh, deal with as we try to figure out which new Snapdragon X Elite machine is right for us. So I really like that we're seeing machines like this emerge. I mean, one of the key reasons besides the, again, the durability uh, and the keyboard are also just the functionality of the keyboard. I mean, it's hard to beat uh, what Lenovo rolls into ThinkPads. Speaker grills right here. Uh, and I'll be testing this out and seeing exactly where it stacks up, again, in comparison to something like the Slim 7X, which I'm gonna bring into frame here a little bit better. And the Slim 7X just is right now, in my opinion, the Snapdragon X Elite machine to beat. It has everything. Pricing is incredibly aggressive. Forget about when this thing does eventually go on sale. The only downside, I mention it every time, fingerprints, it's a little bit of a magnet. That is not gonna happen here with the ThinkPad. Uh, so years ago, ThinkPads would collect fingerprints. Um, and by the way, the eye is blinking. So I take back what I said at the top of the video. But uh, this matte finish is like magic. I mean, it's just the coating and the quality of the plastic that is used for the lid. Uh, I believe this is some form of polycarbonate. Here you have a metal uh, lid, but that's it, folks. Again, uh, also wanted to mention, we do have a little bit of branding here. The T14S is right on that lid, but you can see my fingerprints disappearing in real time. This looks like a machine that's gonna make a lot of users happy because of the IO, and that's really, I think, the stark contrast besides the display and design language between these two machines from Lenovo, despite the fact that they have uh, the same performance essentially with that Snapdragon X Elite under the hood. And yeah, you're not with the Slim 7X getting an HDMI port. You certainly aren't getting two type A USB ports. So there is a reason uh, that somebody would want this uh, for work. It is a far more practical machine. And I would make the argument even outside of the realm of work, if you know you need these ports, this is not going to do the job. But that pretty much rounds things out. Again, a first look and unboxing at the ThinkPad T14S. 
with the Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite for the first time. We've got an ARM64 uh, chip running Windows 11 in a ThinkPad, and I think this is going to be popular with those of you, again, that know they need durability, great I.O., and what should amount to great battery life and an overall really cool and quiet package. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them at that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.